the key things that I found about being in your 50s and 60s is that your identity becomes blurred. You go from having a very clear identity of being perhaps a director in a company or a manager in a shop or whatever, and then suddenly it's gone. You're trying to work out who you are. Quite often we cling to that past identity and we find that our life doesn't allow us to keep it. Something comes along like being made redundant and suddenly you find you're not a manager, you're not a supervisor, you're not that person anymore. Who are you? You find a whole bunch of new terms are being used to describe you. You might be seen as elderly, retired, an older person, a pensioner. Let me show you a short video to show what I mean. to create a new sort of empowering identity, that of the indie, the I'm not done yet. I felt, wouldn't it be useful if I could create something that described who people really were? I didn't identify with being an elderly person or an older person. These terms just didn't work for me. And I struggled to find a name I could identify with that represented exactly who I was. I like being an indie and I'm not done yet. An indie to me was someone who lives life to the full with vibrancy. And I think we all know an indie. We just haven't had an adequate term to describe them until now. Now, psychology is very clear that your perception of your identity is very important to determine the success of your outcomes. As Henry Ford said, whether you think you can or think you can't, you're right. Or in this case, if you believe you are done or believe you're not, you'll be right. I started using the idea of being an indie in my everyday life. I'd start thinking, well, how would an indie think? What would an indie do? And it was a really empowering mindset. I'm going to show you another short video which might help you understand where I'm coming from. As a number of people who I see as indies, why they felt that identifying as an indie was really positive for them. And this is what they said. <music> There are many positive benefits in thinking as an indie. It reminds you and reinforces that you're not done. It's a very empowering mindset to consider positive options for living your life. If you think like an indie, you start to become an indie with the positive benefits that brings. Take a few minutes to consider what being an indie will mean for you. If you look at the attached PDF, you'll find a useful form to help you consider this. I suggest you pause the video here and complete the PDF. So what did being an indie mean for you? Perhaps it's a way to get more out of life. Maybe the idea of being an indie will help you make changes in your life if you feel you're at a crossroads. Certainly, thinking like an indie will give you an empowering mindset to get the best out of your 50s, 60s, 70s and beyond. The idea of indies came from a desire to create a more appropriate identity for those living their lives to the full in a vibrant way after 50s. Thinking like an indie can help you get more out of life and is a very empowering mindset. It's up to you to choose how you use the concept, but using it as your identity can open doors to a more fulfilling life.